Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show, expressing on SABC3. And of course, we are still, we have a couple of questions that we need to, to yeah. ask, though. A few of them is when we go back to this conversation yeah. with uh, Barry Collins, will Graham get verified? That's the first question. <laughs> Secondly, the Stronger Together campaign and the way that Twitter actually acknowledged it, uh, will that acknowledgement actually lead to Graham possibly yeah. getting a job at Twitter? There's I a love, lot to go. I love all of these hopes, but we're about to head back to the lounge. It's Barry Coll Collins still. He's joining us via Skype this time around. He's chatted to Graham about the incredible engagement that the Springboks have enjoyed during the Rugby World Cup. They also discussed the length and the strength of the hashtag Stronger Together hashtag as well as that connection that we all have made with the box and buck fans around the world enthusiasts alike let's head back to them now we are back with Barry Collins, Twitter's Director of Sales for Europe, the Middle East and Africa, who's joining us via Skype all the way from Dublin in Ireland, of course, to learn a little bit more about the integrated relationship between Twitter, sports, television and, of course, the, the mad rugby fan at the moment during the Rugby World Cup madness. Barry, thank you so much for, for staying connected with us. I suppose from a South African perspective, most of us will be watching the game somewhere torn between our, our braai, our barbecue, and our TV screens. Why do you think people should go to Twitter during the World Cup to, to stay abreast of things? What, what have you guys got? Yeah, TV and Twitter has got a really unique relationship where uh, people like to watch the game and then join in and see what people are saying on Twitter. And it adds an extra dimension to yeah. watching the game just on the screen. So it's like it's like watching the game on the world's biggest sofa where you've got like your friends and <laughs> your enemies and you know, your views and counter views all coming in. And it just adds that extra layer of interactivity to the game, which, uh, which people love. And so it's great fun to follow along live events. Uh, and of course, if you look at my, my couch with my mates, the same complete lack of, of ethics and etiquette as well. Um, we know Twitter can be the wild west when it comes to sporting events. Um, it must be crazy to watch that from your perspective. Uh, how do we, what's the best way to follow the World Cup? Obviously, we want to follow our team, but you want to get a broader overview. What's the best way to follow the Rugby World Cup? Yeah, we've worked a lot on trying to make events more accessible and easy to follow, right? So as you say, like Twitter, is, it's, 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 it's so many tweets and so much activity, you got to try and make it easy for people to find the things they're interested in. So for instance, we've created events experience. So if you log on to your Twitter uh, account when the game is on, uh, on Saturday, uh, you will then be, have an event experience at the top of your timeline. You click on that and you will see all of the oh, tweets wow. related to the South Africa Wales game uh, and some clips from the TV providers on uh, on biggest moments. So you just go in there, and everything to do with the game uh, will 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 be there. You don't have to search for anything. And if you want to join in the conversation, it's just type your message. You don't have to add the hashtag. Hashtag. You just hit send and and you join the conversation. So um, again, just trying to make it easier for everybody to stay to follow along. Twitter is the great equalizer. As much as we love to feel we're completely different in South Africa, everyone on Twitter exhibits their human nature. Is, is South African Twitter activity different to the rest of the world? Are we just the same? What, what do South Africans use Twitter for? Yeah, I think you know. I think it is the great is it is the great uh, leveler and the great unifier. I mean, you know, uh, you know, when I was looking, like even the your president, President Ramaphosa, tweeting, yeah. you know, congratulations, like a proper heartfelt congratulations. You know, like it, it felt really, uh, really genuine. Um, uh, thank you to the team after the game last last uh, last weekend. I think that's just really, really unique that you can get uh, access to everybody be it your friends or your president or or, or other people and um, i think in south africa south africa's got like known for like you know very strong love of sports very strong uh, interest love slash hatred of politics and a big <laughs> interest in entertainment and twitter is the, a place where all of these events unfold if you want to find out what's happening in the world Twitter's what's happening, if it's about sports, if it's about politics, if it's about entertainment. These are all real-time uh, activities that, that Twitter really comes to the foreground in. Uh, right now, I'm just imagining your team assessing Donald, President Donald Trump's latest, latest tweets. You really do have a wonderful view on the world. Um, but you are, and I suppose I should say thank you the, for this, this beautiful feeling that we get, especially during a World Cup when we want to stay connected, stay connected to the world and to our teams. But if I think back of where, where Twitter first burst onto the scene in the noughties, if you will, and gained such massive popularity, but has 
remained at the forefront of how we engage with social media so much more than any other platform. You've been managed to stay relevant and connected to, I suppose, a very social media savvy market and one that's evolving almost daily. How are you guys keeping up with that and what's your focus for the, the near future? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's a very dynamic uh, space, as you might imagine. I think there's two main priorities we have uh, as a company. Uh, one is the, the health of the conversation that happens on Twitter. We want people to be able to come to the platform, express their opinions and views, uh, and be heard uh, in a respectful way. That is a complex area. It's, uh, it's something that we're investing usually, and it is the company's number one priority. So everybody should have a voice, and everybody's voice should be heard. Uh, secondly, it's about the interests, right? How do I know when you go onto Twitter that I want to surface the most important and relevant tweets that are of interest to you now. Uh, today, it's still a little bit more difficult than it should be, um, but I think things like the event experience, things like uh, we're surfacing the most important tweets that you missed since you last logged in. So we're just trying to learn more about you as a user and try and surface the more interesting um, topics to the top of your timeline. Well, I have to say, as a, as a Twitter user, you guys are getting it right most of the time. Um, and you really have made engagement for South Africa around the World Cup a lot richer. It really has been awesome to stay connected to uh, the far-flung other corner of the globe at the moment and, and feel like we're a part of what's going on in Japan. So thank you so much to you and your team, and thanks for connecting, and commiserations once again. I'm sorry <laughs> that you had to meet the All Blacks at the, at the peak of their might. It's all about the road to France for us now, Grant. <laughs> well said, man. Well said. Um, thank you so much. Go and enjoy the semi-final weekend. Um, thank you so much to uh, Barry Collins, of course, and his team at Twitter. We've definitely learned that the, the power and the impact of a collective connection is so much more powerful. It's able to mobilize um, so many of us, millions, hundreds of thousands of us here in South Africa, certainly around a common interest. And we wish the books all the best ahead of Sunday. If you'd like to let them know that we are indeed all hashtag stronger together, then connect with them right now on Twitter on the handle at Springboks because they might just be watching right now.